this is Priya Misra and in this video we will be discussing about PhD program in uh, ICER uh, Pune so this video uh, will be focusing on the topic like eligibility criteria and important dates and related things so PhD program in biology that is this is only for the biology and I will be discussing about uh, different subjects like chemistry physics and uh, which is available on the ICER Pune so ICER Pune host a diverse group of research working in a various area research in biology at ICER Pune currently in uh, encompass both theoretical and experimental approaches so field of research open to application in the uh, round of PhD selection are given below so uh, the main area is the ecology and evolution so for the student interested in ecology and evolution so you can uh, check the Deepak Bora, Ramana At uh, Atreya, Sagar Pandit and uh, Surit De. So, and ne next is the molecular and cell biology biochemistry. So, the four students interested in molecular biology biochemistry and cell biology, cellular biophysics, developmental biology, microbiology, immunology, and so on. So, you can check the things here. So, uh, and for the plant physiology, plant biology, and plant, plant bi uh, technology, the Sagar Pandit available. Next is theoretical and computational biology. So, this. Uh, is the name of the guide here and uh, only those faculty members whose name are given ever will accept a student through his uh, round of PhD admission so therefore before applying a student should check this list carefully to ensure that labs of their interest are av available uh, for admissions in the in this round so I think uh, you uh, get and application criteria is all students who fulfill crit criteria a1 and any of the criteria mentioned in A2 are eligible to apply based on this application. So, ICER Pune will create the list of students to be invited for the online uh, interview. So, eligibility criteria is A1 section is master degree holders in any branch of science that is including physics, chemistry, mathematics, biological science. So, you should be a BE that is Bachelor of Engineering or BTEC, MTEC, MBBS. So, this is the criteria of one, you know, uh, A1 and 55% uh, marks is required for the general category AWS and OBC and for STSC uh, here is the things given so a student whose final result in master or equivalent are yet to be declared can also apply so however if selected the offer the uh, for this student will be provisional subject to their full file fulfilling the ever criteria at the time of admission next is applicant applicants must have any of the following uh, qualifications like qualified national level uh, test that is for the uh, you know you should have a valid GRF in field of CSIR UGC DBT ICMR DBT and I uh, BINC GRF so Rajiv Gandhi National Fellowship any of the above if you have then you can apply in the ICER pool so next is the qualified gist and the things inspired PhD uh, are also applicable ICER BMS BS MS dual degrees a student with a uh, more than 8 CGP or equivalent to 8 CGP is applicable next is qualified gate exam so gate life science gate chemistry gate eco evolution gate biotechnology and gate mathematics so the gate score must be valid on the uh, first of you know february 2023 next is qualified jg bills so this is the things and next is the short listing and interview process so meeting the above mentioned criteria merely makes the candidate eligible for the application icer fune and uh, reserve the right to use uh, others so more a stringent criteria for the purpose of short listing of uh, for interview especially why the score obtained in the research design and design and experiment can be used for the purpose of the short listing for uh, interview so i am telling that key uh, here is the short listing criteria will be based on the research design when you uh, open this application form so in one section they will, uh, they will ask a research design and another section design and experiment so this will be the short listing criteria for the in, uh, interview and therefore all candidates are requested to check this page regularly for updates so the uh, referees for the shortlisted can, uh, candidates alone shall be contacted for the reference later. So here is the reference. Uh, uh, here reference is the given. When you open this file application form, uh, which is attached uh, in description box, so you can find there. So we will ask for the uh, one or two referee. Uh, I don't know how many they will ask. 
so after we give you give your professor's name and their contact details so they will contacted uh, they will contact your ref, uh, reference so this is the important so application time line for the gender january batch is 69 2022 and uh, uh, 60 from the 69 application is already open and uh, you can fill the application form by the 5th of October 2022 so you if you have any type of doubt you can contact uh, here uh, mail is the given so you can ping a mail here so I hope this video will be helpful for you uh, if any type of doubt you have you can uh, uh, you can uh, tell me in comment section I will try to resolve